Hello my dear friends welcome back to Infigyan. In this video we are going to solve one very interesting question from Math Olympiads. We have x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 equal to 110. We have to evaluate x plus 1 over x. Given that x belongs to real numbers and positive. So let's get it started. By writing our given equation x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 which we can write 1 over x whole power 6 equal to 110. Now let us assume 1 over x. Suppose this is y. So I can write our equation x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 110. And if we will cross multiply here, we will get xy equal to 1. So this is our equation 1 and equation number 2 will be xy equal to 1. Now this is our required expression. Let's say this is e. So 1 over x equal to y. We will write here e equal to x plus 1 over x or x plus y. So we have one non-fractional system where two equations are x power 6 plus y power 6 equal to 110 and x times y equal to 1. Then we have to evaluate expression x plus y. Let's evaluate. I will consider x square plus y square. Suppose this is equal to t. Now we will consider cubing both sides. T cube. Now we will apply A plus B whole cube formula. So A plus B whole cube formula if we will apply we will write x square whole cube plus y square whole cube plus 3 times x square y square times x square plus y square a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b equal to right hand side is t cube. Now we will use one exponent law a power b whole power c. This is equal to a power b times c. So we will write our equation x power 6 plus y power 6 plus x square y square. This we will be writing xy whole square. As we know xy is 1 times x square plus y square and RHS is t cube. Now this is our equation 1. This is our equation 2. And this is our substitution x square plus y square equal to t. So here we are going to write 110 plus 3 times we will write 1 a square. This is our substitution t equal to t cube. Or I can write 110 plus 3 times t equal to t cube. Or we will take all the terms to RHS and write t cube minus 3t minus 110 equal to 0. Now this is cubic equation. We will use method of factorization. So I can write our equation t cube minus 3t. Then we have minus 110 which I will write minus 125 plus 15 equal to 0. In total, this is minus 110. Now I can write 125 as 5 cube. So t cube minus 5 cube minus 3t plus 15 equal to 0. Now we will use a cube minus b cube formula. So a cube minus b cube formula 
if we will apply we will write t minus 5 times t square plus 5t plus 5 is square which is 25. Now from last two terms minus 3 is common so in the bracket we will write t minus 5 equal to 0. Now t minus 5 t minus 5 so we can take t minus 5 overall common. In other bracket we will write t square plus 5t plus 25 minus 3 equal to 0 or we can write t minus 5 times t square plus 5t plus 22 equal to 0. Now we will apply product 0 rule. So either t minus 5 equal to 0 or t square plus 5t plus 22 will be equal to 0. So let us solve both the equations. From first equation I will add 5 to both sides and we will write our t value will come out 5. So this is real solution we are going to accept. Now the turn of quadratic equation t square plus 5t plus 22 equal to 0. Now we are going to check the discriminant value only. So discriminant d as per formula this is b square minus 4ac. As per our quadratic equation in t we can write a is coefficient of t square 1, b is coefficient of t 5, c is constant 22. Let's calculate discriminant. So b square will be 5 square minus 4 times a c. a is 1, c is 22. 5 square is 25 minus 4 times 22 is 88. Now 25 minus 88 is minus 63 which is negative. We are going to get complex solutions. So we will cancel this quadratic equation as we are looking for real solutions only. So our accepted t would be t equal to 5 and t was x square plus y square equal to 5. Now I will use algebraic manipulation step and I will add 2xy to both sides. So we will write x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 5 plus 2xy. Now from our second equation in place of xy we can write 1. And in LHS, we are getting one algebraic formula x plus y whole a square. So we will write x plus y whole a square in left hand side. Right hand side will be 5 plus 2 times 1. Or I can write 5 plus 2. Or we can write 7. So we have x plus y whole a square value this will be equal to 7. 7 we can write this is a square root 7 whole square. Now we will take a square root both sides. So we will get x plus y value this will be equal to plus minus square root 7. In our problem given that x is positive that means 1 over x would be positive that means 1 over x was y y is positive so our expression e equal to x plus y y is positive x is positive expression must be positive so we are going to reject this minus sign 
minus sign will be rejected. So I can write our final answer. Expression E will become x plus 1 over x or I can write x plus y. This will be equal to only plus square root 7. So we will write root 7. This is our final answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.